Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. I am Jamie Beth. Today I am so excited to review some products that I have just purchased. Um, but before that, I want to show you guys these cute little jars that my older sister made me. Here they are. One's for clean brushes and one is for dirty brushes. I'm absolutely in love with these. Uh, she has her own you, she has her own YouTube site called Kelly's Creations, so please head on over there, click that subscribe button, and let her know that you are visiting her from my page. I know she would love it. So today, we are going to be going over the new Juvia's Place Concealer and Foundation. I am so excited to play with these. I absolutely love this brand. I have loved them for years. I think they need to get more recognition and I'm glad that they finally, I feel like they finally are starting to be more recognized throughout the beauty community. They make beautiful eyeshadow palettes and I do actually have one of the eyeshadow palettes here that we're gonna go over today. Oops, I have it upside down. We're gonna go over today. This is the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. So I'm excited to test this out. And I do have some other products today from my Boxy Charm Box that I wanna play with as well to go with this whole look. So we're gonna start off with some primer. And I'm going to start off with this primer. This is from Peter Thomas Roth and it is the Skin to Die For. I actually love this primer. It is a mattifying primer and it really does help tone down the oils in my t-zone area where i get super 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 oily especially now um, more so now that the weather is starting to get warmer i my skin is starting to get oilier just like in the winter time my skin gets a little more dry so this is a great little primer for that area and i kind of just stick to my t-zone area i don't really put it anywhere else because i'm not really oily anywhere else. I want to keep it just to the areas that my skin is super oily. And then the rest of my face, I'm going to put on the Tarte Face Tape Primer. Now I'm just going to get that in the rest of my face. So today we're going to start off with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic velvet matte foundation and what it says on the box is our second skin creamy foundation offers smooth application with a soft natural soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage a great formula to even out complexion refine skin texture and erase blemishes maintaining the initial finish throughout the day suitable for all skin types including sensitive and oily skin so we are going to go ahead to, oh and i got the shade caro 600. i have no clue if this is the right shade i just kind of um I bought it online, so we'll see if it's the right color. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little Morphe Beauty Blender. Put a little bit, oh, it kind of looks like it will be pretty close. We'll see, let's see. So here is what the foundation looks like. It is a nice creamy foundation. That was just kind of one little squeeze of the tube. We're gonna go ahead and apply this to our face. Oh, you know what, first, I'm gonna put back my hair. little pins here. Don't I look cute? Okay, so now we're going to apply this. Ah, it is a little, a little on the light side. But holy cow, the coverage. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Hmm. Wow, I like this. I did buy the wrong shade, but we can always darken that up with some bronzer, no big deal. I am loving this coverage, holy cow. Okay, my thoughts on this right now is that it is um, beautiful coverage, definitely a full coverage foundation. Um, I love the way it smooths out my textures. It doesn't feel like I have a 
heavy full coverage foundation and like um yeah I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of these full coverage foundations, it just feels like you have a ton of makeup on. This does not feel like it. It has a beautiful little like sheen to it. Um, so like it says, it's soft matte. It's not total matte, 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 which I also don't like a lot with some of the full coverage foundations where they look so matte, your face looks dried out. This does not look that way whatsoever. Um, definitely can go a shade darker. I did pick the wrong shade, but I do have quite a bit of foundation still on my hands, so a little goes a long way. Um, and we will see how this wears throughout the day. I'll let that um, you guys know that in the description box below because I will probably forget to do an update later. We're gonna move on to the concealer. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer, and I got the shade 21. So hopefully this is the right shade. I think it's going to be because it is a little bit on the lighter side. Here is the concealer. Here's what it looks like. Oh, and this is what the foundation looks like. It's just a little tube foundation. The concealer is right here. Let's open this up. It does have a giant doe foot applicator, which a lot of the um, companies are doing now. They're going with these big applicators, which I love. So I'm really happy to see that. We're gonna go ahead, get this concealer. It looks like it's an okay color. Now again, because I'm older, I do not put a ton of concealer on my face. What I like to do is start a little, uh, a little further down on my, the top, just the top of my cheek, get that blended in, and then I blend up. And because I do have fine lines and wrinkles already because I'm in my 40s, um, I do not like to put a ton of concealer underneath my eyelid because it will crease. And it will crease just because I do have wrinkles there. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately, it's just something that happens when you get older. Okay, this concealer is really nice. It's nice and thick without feeling real thick. It's easy to blend in. It's nice and like, I love how it looks. This kind of reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, so I really am enjoying this right now. I don't remember the price ranges on these. I will put that down in the description box below how much each of these cost because I don't quite remember how much they cost. So I'm so sorry. Yes, I am drinking coffee out of a cup that says I love Halloween. I wish every day was Halloween, literally. It is my favorite time of the year. If you are the same way, let me know down in the comments below. But Okay, moving on to powder. We're gonna go ahead and set our face. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin and then we're gonna move on to a new blush that I wanna try today. So now that we're all bronzed, we're going to move on to blush and we're gonna use this today. This is the um, All America Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio in medium tan. Open it up and there are the beautiful shades. Aren't they? so pretty I love them so I think what we're gonna do is use this one right here on the end and we're gonna rosy rosy up our cheeks I got this little palette in my boxy charm box for May so I was really excited to try this I'm just gonna use the little mirror that it comes with we are going to rosy up our cheeks using that Ooh, this is pretty very, very pretty. So I am using the shade Toasted. So there's Toasted, Isla, and Seclusion. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. I went a little heavy handed on that one. Very pigmented. So if you ever do that and go a little crazy with the blush, take your powder brush and just kind of buff it in over the area that you might have like gone a little too crazy with and that will smooth it all out nice and you'll be back to looking normal again. Now I have heard of Elamer um, Cosmetics. I think I've seen a lot of their palettes and they look absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to check out this brand a little bit more and see what else they have to offer because I do want to try some more stuff from them. So again, that was the Elamer blush trio in medium tan with the colors seclusion isla and toasted so we're going to move on to the eyes and i have this beautiful juvia's place palette this is the nubian 
three coral palette. We're gonna open it up and take a look at it. Look at all of these beautiful shades. Ooh, I'm so excited to play with this. So I think we're gonna go ahead and start with this color on the end, and we're gonna use that as our transition. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get this in the crease. What a beautiful shade. These palettes, all of these, Juvia's Place, one thing I love about Juvia's Place is that all of their palettes, the consistency in the shadows doesn't change from one palette to another. They're all beautifully made and they're all very pigmented and they all blend out very nicely. I think we're going to go into um, this shade next and we're just going to pack this shade on the outer corner here and a little bit into the lid. And then whatever um, I have left on the brush, I'm just going to buff that out. So now I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to just um, blend in those edges so we don't have any harsh lines. Now we're going to go ahead and, to, and dip into one of these shimmer shades. So um, I think what we're going to use is this one right here. We're going to go ahead and pop that on the lid. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty. It is a gorgeous, like, corally shimmer shade right there. And it's going on perfect without me having to spritz or wet in the shade whatsoever. Just using my fingertip, fingertip on dry product. So I'm going to go grab a, a pencil brush now, and we're going to go back into this shade on the ends, this little corally shade. And we're going to go, and we're going to put that on our lower lash line. Kind of buff that in there and then I'm going to go um, into like the corner area with that dark um, brownish shade right there so that this dark shade and the dark shade on my lower lash line meet and kind of blend into one another we are going to go now into this shade I'm going to take a little another little like pencil brush we're going to dip into that shimmer shade and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. I know Juvia's Place does um, have highlighters and I think that's gonna be one of the next things that I purchase from them because um, I haven't, I just haven't yet, um, but I do wanna try those out. If you guys have tried their highlighters, let me know. If you want to, is it, if that's something you wanna see, let me know. I'm also gonna take the shimmer shade and put, highlight my brow bone here with it. So we have our eyeshadow on. Now I do wanna go in with a little bit of an eyeshadow topper, um, and I did receive this from my BoxyCharm box as well. This is the um, Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. You know what, I'm gonna do a swatch of it real fast here. Oh, see, look at that. There, it looks kind of purplish and then it's like goldish. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna put this on the eye. Hopefully it doesn't like totally ruin the eye look, but I have a feeling it's not going to. Cool. Now, what I see um, in my little mirror here is like gold. So I don't really see like the purpley, but I do see the gold. And you can see how much more bright that my this eye is versus the other one. Let's go ahead and put this on the other one. This stuff is really cool. It dries down nice, and I don't see any like creasing going on I just think that it really gives a little bit of a pop to an eye look this stuff is cool I really like it so I'm going to go ahead and finish my eye look off camera I'm going to do some liner mascara and some lashes and I will be right back <laughs> 
So I went ahead and finished my eyes and I added some lip color. I just wanna go over the products that I used today, starting with the palette. Now this palette was absolutely gorgeous. I love all of the colors. I can't wait to do something using these like kind of grayish colors. I've never used colors like that before. Um, if you want to see me do a look with those, let me know and I will do that. But this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm so excited that I have it. I love this eye look today. I think it turned out really nice. And like I said, you can't fail with Juvia's Place. This is one heck of a brand and I can't wait to watch it grow and mature into something um, bigger and better because I really think that everyone is going to love the products that this company has to offer. <clears throat> Moving on to um, this cute little blush palette, I absolutely love these blushes. They are so beautiful. They, I just, um, I cannot wait to keep playing with these. And like I said, I'm going to be checking out this brand, A La Mer. They, um, I've seen a lot of products of theirs and I, everything looks just absolutely stunning. So if the eyeshadows and whatnot are as, as pretty as the blushes, I can't wait to try them out. And then we have the foundation and concealer by Juvia's Place. And I tell you, so far, I just love the way this foundation and concealer look on my skin. Everything is nice and smooth and just looks flawless. So I will let you know in the description box below how everything wore out throughout the day. But here is the um, I Am Magic Concealer again and the I Am Magic Foundation. Both so far, my first impressions are these are amazing products. On the eyelid, I just kind of topped it with this cute little eye topper. I'm going to be using this much more. This is by Ciate London and it's their Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. So that is the final look for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as the little notification bell next to it to be notified of all of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Bye!